Hello again. Uh, this time we're looking at the exponential laws. We're working with law one, and uh, law one is actually very, very simple. It says that if if we have the product, the product. Okay, that's multiplication. If we are multiplying two same bases okay so we have a base is base one and there's base two but they're the same base so we don't have to number them if we have the product in other words the multiplication of two same bases the exponents the exponents may that's not may that's may may be added okay so we have the product of two bases this one has an exponent and this one has another different exponent okay so it doesn't have to be different they can be the same but that's that's not necessary the if the bases are the same the exponents may be added so what do we have here base times base this becomes one base a single base and we add up the exponents okay that is the law when the bases are the same the exponents may be added when I'm multiplying okay why is that true let's quickly have a look at the at the proof for this okay so here's our proof okay this proof says that we have a base with n and as an exponent times a base with m as the exponent now remember what we said it means this here's a one in front one is multiplied with b n times so this is actually one multiplied with b n times so here we go i am multiplying with b b times b times b on and on and on okay let's actually not make it that much okay b times b times b times b times b for n times okay so however many times i'm multiplying it would be n times okay and then we have that then it's again multiplied with b m times so then we have multiply with b again multiply with b multiply with b all the way up to b again and this time it's m times so what it, this dot 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 just means i've left out a number i don't know how many because i don't know how many n is but the point being that this would be n b's and this would be m b's okay m times okay but now if we look at it together one is actually multiplied with b n times and m times does that make sense now n times and m times is n plus m so let's say this is four times and that is six times then it's a total of ten times okay so this is actually one times b times b times and this goes all the way times b the total number of times i'm multiplying with b is n plus m times okay which means that this is one times b and this is the definition of exponents n plus m if i'm multiplying n plus m times i can write that as an exponent okay and obviously the one is not necessary to write so here's my proof that when i multiply same basis i can add up the exponents and write them over a single base so let's do just one or two examples okay just randomly let's say we have w to the power of 4 times w to the power of negative 3 okay now let's just make it positive numbers for now let's make it 7 okay so the bases are the same so the exponents may be added so in this case I've got w to the power of 4 plus 7 that's 11 okay let's do one more let's say we've got 2 to the power of negative 3 times 2 to the power of 5 okay now same basis so the exponents may be added 
So adding these exponents is negative 3 plus 5 would give me w. Negative 3 plus 5 gives me, sorry, not w. That's not my base. 2 is my base. 2 to the power of 2. And we all know, and since we can, we're going to simplify that to 4. And that's it. A few very easy examples, but it will get a bit more complicated in uh, a later time when we have more laws to put together. We'll see you there.